Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the construction site on Tuesday. Today, two fantastic things are happening. First of all, we got the guys to come here work on the thermal isolation on the house. It's a new crew. They're going to be working with us to uh, like a second phase of the house build, like doing the interior stuff and the exterior, and like helping us finalize the build. And the second thing is uh, we're supposed to get the uh, guys from the gas company to come and uh, dig up the road once again and put in some gas pipelines. They're actually going to go uh, next to the road so it won't be that big of a problem like it was with the water line. But it will be good to have all the utilities hooked up. Fantastic. Alright guys, so the gas company they sent uh, their guys to dig uh, the gas line. As you can see they're uh, moving pretty fast. And this is the pipe. It's I think uh, 40 millimeters in diameter. Uh, PE pipe, I guess, uh, for high pressure or medium pressure. Let's see some markings on it. Maybe it tell us something. All right, there we go. 13th meter. Dean uh, 1555. PE 100RC. SDR 11. 40 by 3.7. Gas. All right, so really uh, RC 100, that's good, and 40 millimeters in diameter. And this is like the main pipeline. This is like a main pipeline that uh, other people can, other properties can hook into. And then at the end of this pipeline, we're going to have a hook towards our house. And uh, yeah, we asked for this whole thing to be put in because there might be neighbors or we might build some other buildings along the way. So this way we can hook into this pipe instead of uh, running multiple parallel pipes from the main and the road. Voilà. So that's the drainage pipe that we put in and the electrical crew uh, ripped apart. Now the guys are going under it with the gas pipe. Instead of cutting it into pieces and molding together, they're just going to thread it underneath. Because it's pretty bendy, so... Alright, so the guys started strong on the thermal isolation. The first thing they did, they cut off the XPS on the bottom, uh, about 5 centimeters, just so the overlapping uh, styrofoam will reach around ground level, just because the pieces are 100 by 50. And they cut that off just to have a starting, even starting line. And as you can see, they're putting down strings. They're putting down twine just to level things out. And uh, so they know how much uh, of the glue to put behind, behind the styrofoam. Because you can see the walls are not super even. Thank you, Mr. Pavel. And uh, yeah, so these gaps are they say not that uncommon, but basically they just put some uh, blobs of glue behind it and make it all even to the twine and then the building exterior wall will be super straight, right? 
so fantastic. And for the windows, because the guys that are putting in the windows are late, like you know, they are just coming up to here. And then when they're going to install the windows, they're going to cut out a little triangle piece out from the styrofoam, glue in the tapes, the moisture tapes, and then put that back in. And once all the windows are in place, uh, we're going to put some more styrofoam on the edge just to overlap the window a little bit and the foam and stuff like that. So it's nice and protected. Alrighty guys, so it's afternoon now, a bit uh, past 2 o'clock, the guys from the gas company just left, they, they put in about, I don't know, 80 meters of pipe, possibly, really cool, they will probably uh, get to the road tomorrow, so that's going really fast, and on the house, <laughs> also really good, uh, what are we, 5 layers up, 4? Four or five, really cool. So the guys, they drive fit the pieces of styrofoam first before they glue them on make sure everything fits nicely because the key is coming to the play Right, so as you could see, the guys are not using uh, spray, spray foam adhesive like I did for the foundation, but instead they're using this uh, type of cement uh, glue because they want to put the styrofoam upright and then there will be gaps between the wall and the styrofoam and the cement type glue will fill those up much easier than uh, spray foam. The spray foam might not even uh, take up that much space. To make up for the unevenness of the walls, they're doing it this way. Alright guys, so it's the end of the day now and uh, we're just at the gas pipe. Uh, I wanted to uh, say goodbye, thanks for watching this episode. It's fantastic to have the gas almost here, a couple of days and uh, to be ready. So we're uh, pretty much set. So we got uh, almost all the utilities, utilities done now. And uh, that's a fantastic feeling. And now, the, and now the guys are working on the thermal isolation of the house, which is also fantastic. It's going to allow us to start early next year with uh, interior work much sooner than we would otherwise could. Uh, just because we won't be afraid of uh, frost in the night so when the weather gets pretty warm you can start putting uh, like uh, cement on the walls and stuff like that so thank you guys very much for watching this episode and i'll talk to you soon bye